hello there and welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new if you are new then hello my name is Alex and um, I'm constantly posting beauty related videos at the moment so if you'd like to join my little family here on the internet then make sure you hit that subscribe button and also put the notification bell on so you're notified of every single time that I upload so guys for today's video if you had seen yesterday's video which was my May buys you would have briefly hear me say that today's video is super exciting because i am testing the new revolution brand xx revolution so if you didn't know revolution have come out with a new brand called xx revolution and the idea of this brand is to combine skin hair with makeup so the ingredients in the makeup is supposed to be more beneficial for your skin and the prices range from as low as five pounds to 28 pounds i'd say their prices is quite comparable to nyx so the difference between this brand and their normal revolution brand is that the prices are much more expensive um and so i'd say they're more of like a higher end drugstore brand some of the products are really highly priced whereas some of them are really affordable so there is quite a mix of prices in there they have literally everything i have a whole a whole box here i literally must have spent over 100 pound on this launch um just because i'm a huge fan of revolution you guys know that they are my favorite brand and i wanted to purchase as much as i could without spending i mean i spent a lot of money but i wanted to purchase as much makeup as possible to give you guys a really good in-depth review of all the products I bought. I did not buy one of the huge eyeshadow palettes just because, as I said, I wanted to buy it as much as possible. But guys, I mean, I've got primers, I've got foundation, I've got bronzer, um, I've got an eyeshadow palette. They have like a whole range of duochrome eye-related products, like uh, liquid shadows, eyeliners. Um, I also got the setting mist, I got brow products, got blush, I literally got as much as I could. I haven't got absolutely everything because I'm not made of money, but I will, if anything from this um, video, if I'm missing anything, I will uh, buy it later on down the line. Just let me know what you want me to review. So I'm going to try and not make this video super long, but if I'm honest, I think it is going to be a long one because I've got so many products to test in this video, but I think we should just get started. So I'm starting off this video with no makeup on because I didn't want to spoil anything for you. I wanted it to be completely like from start to finish. So I did pick up a primer. This is the Cloud Complexion Soft Touch Primer. Now this actually retails for £15 so it's very expensive for like a drugstore brand. Um, but it says it's sorbet like water gel sorbet is that the right word i don't know with a smooth soft touch texture and this is to improve the appearance of skin by minimizing pores and brightening the complexion so if you watch me for a while you know that i love anything to smooth out my skin blur my pores or my skin so i'm excited for this i also freaking love the packaging it's got like colored clouds all over it it's stunning so this is what the primer looks like. It is in like a glass jar. So, I mean, it does feel luxury. It's nice and heavy. Um, this has 24 ml of product in it and it is literally like a moisturizer, similar packaging with the little lid to keep it away from like bacteria and stuff. And then you have the primer in there. So I'm so excited to try this. It also, smells like coconuts um, and i love that scent so let's give this a go i'm gonna just take some on my finger it has like a yeah it feels like a it's not super watery or anything it's like a thick gel consistency and i'm just gonna put this all over where i have my big pores and stuff it does feel really moisturizing actually and you can smell the coconut when you put it on. It is expensive, but I feel like a lot is going... No, I keep saying that saying wrong. <laughs> it is expensive, but a little does go a long way. So I did buy the vast majority of the stuff I'm using in this video. However, my amazing friend, Emily, Miss EC Beauty, kindly, kindly gifted me the shades of foundation and concealers that she would not use. We was talking about it because um, 
the everyone who got on their PR list received it like a few weeks before the actual launch um, and they sent everyone like five shades of each foundation and she very very kindly asked if I wanted the shades that she wouldn't use so thank you so much to you Emily I'm literally so so grateful for this you have no idea um, so I have both the foundations here they launched two different types they launched the Glow Skin Foundation. This is the luminous one. And they also launched the Liquid Skin Foundation, the Double Fix Foundation. The Glow Foundation is a lightweight, buildable, skin true foundation, medium to full coverage. The um, Double uh, Fix Foundation is a silk finish, long wear, liquid skin foundation, full coverage for a flawless complexion. I am going to be using this one in today's video. You guys know I love high coverage and um, a flawless complexion. So I'm going to be using this foundation today. However, for my full face of first impressions that I'm going to film, I'm going to use this foundation. So don't worry, guys. I am going to use this in a video. And I'm also, <laughs> in a couple of days, going to launch a video where I test both of them at the same time so yeah i've got a couple of videos coming where i feature this as well but today i'm going to use this one so i have the fx2 shade and i think their shades are like really similar to their normal range if you get what i mean and this is the packaging of the foundation the difference sorry if i just quickly show you the difference between this and the luminous one is this is a pink lid and this is a black lid the only thing though is that if you have both these foundations it's be very easy to mix them up because they both look the exact same so yeah just be careful about that they could have done like the different pumps or the different stickers at the back bottom this is also in a glass packaging these retail for 15 pounds each so that is the same price as the like nyx ones um and yeah it just looks super luxury and bougie i love that um, and this whole packaging, like the whole XX packaging, reminds me of like a high-end brand. I think it's either Burberry or Givenchy. Um, but yeah, it just gives me super high-end vibes. So let's test this out. It is a little bit more liquidy than I thought it was going to be. But I guess because it has like not a matte finish, that's why. But I'm going to do one half of my face. Okay, so this is the foundation on one side of my face. As you can see, it has got really nice coverage. I'd say it's not extremely full. It's probably medium to full. Um, I have got a few blemishes at the moment, so I just do see a tiny bit of redness. But I do love the finish of this foundation. It's not super matte. It just has a really nice, like, soft glow to it. Um, and with the primer underneath, it has really smoothed my skin out. So let me just go do the rest of my face, and then I'll be right back okay and this is all the foundation on i am a big fan of it so far my skin definitely does look really nice and smooth the finish is really pretty it's not super matte and drying hasn't clung to any dryness on my skin which is amazing because i do get a little bit of dryness especially on my nose and around like my eyebrow area but it hasn't clung to any dryness so i am a huge fan and i do really like the finish it kind of reminds me of the normal conceal and defined um, blah, blah, blah. reminds me of the normal conceal and define foundation and i'm a huge fan of that foundation so really liking this so far and then i also have the concealer this says it's crease proof life proof full coverage concealer conceals and brights covering blemishes and dark circles and redness stretchable formula with no flashback so that is a lot of claims for a concealer Firstly, can I just say all concealers will crease under my eyes. I just naturally have really uh, wrinkly under eyes. That sounds disgusting. That really creasy under eyes. So it's going to crease on me anyway. Um, I think I'm just going to use... Um, I might use a combination of both actually. I might use CX2 on my like blemishy areas. But I'm going to use um, C1.5 underneath my eyes. Also packaging is like the exact same i feel like no i feel like this is glass as well it doesn't feel heavy but um i think the packaging is glass as well i've got to tell you in the foundations you get 27 mil which is quite close to a standard 30 mil concealer and in 
a knot concealer foundation and in the concealer you get 13.5 mil um, and these retail for £10 so I think you get a lot of product in your concealer for your money just to put into a bit of perspective the Jeffree Star concealer has 3.4 mil in it and it's £21 so I think you get a lot for your money so I'm just going to put this one under my eyes I just want to mention as well the doe foot on this so it is at like an angle which I think will be good for getting into each like crevice Okay, so these are both the concealers on. As you can see, my under eyes are really brightened. Um, I feel like that's taken my coverage to the next level. The concealer's not matte or anything, so it's really not drying under the right under the eyes. They are starting to crease under my eyes, which, as I said, is totally normal for me, so it's not a problem. Um, it just happens to my skin. That's just the way it is. I'm loving my coverage at the moment. It's really good. I'd say I have got a pretty full coverage base on at the moment. Now, they did launch powders. However, I did not pick one up just because the loose powder was a glowy loose powder. That's just not my thing. And the other powder was a white like translucent press powder and again that's just not my thing so i'm gonna hop off camera i'm gonna put my powder on and then we'll be right back for the bronzer right so i'm back i just used the revolution pro cc perfecting press powder now that i've powdered down i honestly feel like my coverage has been taken to like full and you can still see, see a tiny tiny bit of redness here but that is literally it pretty much everything is covered so i'm very impressed with the foundation and concealer so far just quickly forgot to mention as well they launched 55 shades of each foundation and concealer if that is not the most amazing inclusivity i've ever seen i don't know what is so for bronzer this is the xx bronze it's just a matte bronzer i got mine in the shade demo and they have 10 shades of bronzer with all like different undertones and stuff they have 6.5 grams of product in <laughs> Oh my god, you scared the life out of me. I got mine in the shade demo and this is what the packaging looks like. This is like their whole vibe for their like face products and stuff. Um, so it's just like a gun metal colour with like ribbed packaging. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. This is what the shade demo looks like. I was unsure whether this was the lightest shade. I feel like there might be one shade lighter than this. But I just went off the descriptions on the website and pictures of swatches. So I picked this one up. Let's see if it's a good colour match. The packaging also comes with a mirror. Did I mention? And this also retails for £10. Which is £1 more expensive than the Revolution Pro one. Also they have little X's marked on the pan. Which is really nice. So let's give this a go. So this is the bronzer on it is a really lovely color it's not too pigmented so it is really nice and buildable which i like i love buildable bronzers because for us pal people it's really easy to put too much bronzer on um but i'm a big fan of it i think the color is fine for my skin tone as well so if you're pal like me then the shade demo is a really nice color to suit your skin tone now i did not buy the face palettes and that is because i a i really wanted to buy as much as possible so i bought a blush and a highlighter and a bronzer like separately and also i just found that the shades were a bit mix and match for me um like some shade shades together just didn't make sense for me so i didn't want to waste the money buying one of those if i can't use like all the shades if that makes sense so i'm just gonna throw in a little bit of contour because you know me i cannot not contour so i'm gonna do that off camera and then i'll be right back okay so i'm all nice and contoured i just quickly use my patricia bright um what's this called face palette now i'm going to quickly spritz my face with this this is called the face fix moisturizing fixing mist they had so many of these and um, they also had so many primers they had two different types of primers they had like the primer bombs and like the fix primers which is like the same fix range as this i got the moisturizing fixing mist this has antioxidants avocado and coconut extract it says it's a rejuvenating fixing mist for natural radiant skin nourishes skin while holding makeup in place enhanced with skin loving ingredients this range is also all cruelty free and vegan so if you only support those brands that are cruelty free 
then you're gonna love this brand so this is what the packaging looks like it's really simple it has a beautiful like holographic effect everything does like match which i really like as well and um, so let's can open up then let's spritz some of this this is what the pump looks like let's give it a little oh i love the mister on that oh, it smells really coconutty i love that the spritzer on this is really good so let's put some on oh i'm a big fan of that i really like the spray on it i feel like i could honestly spray so much of this and not feel like i've put too much on it's really nice it smells really lovely i don't feel like it's going to do too much but it, i love the spray and i love the smell so i love that next my favorite part which is highlighting you guys know i had to pick up a highlighter and they come out with the exposure highlighter multi-dimensional powder i got mine in the shade echo they have if i just quickly find for you they have 12 shades of highlighter and this retails for 12 pound the spray retails for 10 and we're gonna put some of this on because i need some highlight i'm looking at very matte right now again the same like ribbed packaging but this is the pink sort of packaging and i love pink so i'm a big fan and it comes all of the products have like the protective like hygienic stuff on and this is what the shade looks like how beautiful does that look i cannot wait to get it on my skin if i'm honest i know revolution can do a good highlighter so i expect very very good things and i love the whole like design it is slightly raised as well so i'm very excited So this is a baked highlighter and I love their baked highlighter formula and I mean look at that like I knew they wasn't going to disappoint me they never do this is absolutely stunning absolutely gorgeous I know it is more expensive but for that result I mean I think it's worth it. I also couldn't get stuff from this collection without getting a blush you guys know I love my blush now it's really hard to tell on the website what shades were probably more suitable for me so this is called the excess blush high pigment blusher i got mine in the shade jitter this is smaller than the highlighters and bronzer this is the cute little packaging and the blushes retail for eight pounds so these are a little bit less expensive and this is what the shade jitter looks like now on the website it described it as like a bright peach so i was like love a peach blush i'm gonna get it and this is what it looks like all the face products do have mirrors in them which i absolutely love and let's just get this blush on my face i may have put a bit too much on but it's fine it's a testing video that's allowed no problem um this is very pigmented and the shade is absolutely gorgeous i love shades like this it's stunning so check out the shade jitter if you do love a bright peachy shade yeah it's amazing and it's one of the most affordable products from the whole range so the rest of the products in this video are eye related i didn't get any of the liquid lipstick stuff because that didn't launch until the following morning and i ordered this at midnight on the 3rd of june or just before that because i actually launched it around 11 o'clock i think it was i didn't get the liquid lipstick stuff but i did however pick up the revolution shimmer bomb set so i'm going to use that in today's video as well let's move on to the eye related products now i'm going to start off with brows obviously and i did pick up both brow products which will not no actually there is another brow pencil i think but this is the x fine brow micro brow definer pencil and then i also got the fix brow so i got my eyebrow pencil in the shade bronze this is what the packaging looks like now it feels heavy which i absolutely love this retails for seven pounds and they do have i think they do have a lot of shades of this let me just double check yes they've got 10 eyebrow shades which is really good they also have another type of brow pencil a pomade 
and the gel so yeah i love the packaging it's like the pinky packaging and feels really nice and heavy has a spoolie one end and then it has the pencil at the other end so let's do these brows okay so this is my brows on it is like not the most skinniest of brow pencils like they're it's not comparable to like the brow wiz or anything but it is a nice small enough pencil to get a defined brow i did um i do think i should have got a darker shade of eyebrow pencil because i feel like it might be a little bit light but i also got the brow sculpt and set gel i think they only had four shades of this and i got the clear one because they went from like clear to like warm brown and i don't have warm eyebrows so i just picked up the brow gel and these retail for eight pounds which is actually more expensive than the brow pencil itself and you only get four mil of product in it and this says fix and set your brows in place soft gel builds and fills brows for a natural stay put look infused with argan oil and avocado to nourish it is a nice small tube of brow gel which is good for travel and it has just a small spoolie just wanted to smell it but it doesn't smell of anything so let's set the brows okay so i've set the brows down i obviously can't feel anything straight away but i'll let you know later on in the video so i'm going to zoom you in and we can finally get started on the eye shadow portion of this video <laughs> so they did actually launch quite a few like eyeshadow related items they ex they launched uh quad eyeshadow palettes which i do actually have one of them they launch a chameleon shimmer eyeshadow palette which retails for 20 pounds and it only has like six shades in it so i don't get that they also come out with the crystal eyeshadow palettes that have all the shimmers in them they come out with luxe eyeshadow palettes and they also launch these huge eyeshadow palettes that have like 66 shades in them and those are the products that the that cost the most the 66 pan eyeshadow palettes retail for 28 pounds i would have loved to get one of those one of those for you guys but i wanted to get as much as possible so i just picked up a quad and this is like the nudie one because i got some of the like duo chrome items and i wanted to play with those as well in today's video oh this is the shade exposed by the way i thought that was just the name of the range so if i just get this out the packaging it's got the same packaging as the bronzer and this is what the quads look like it's just a really nice nudie everyday sort of palette which i love i'm gonna quickly swatch them for you so these are what the shades look like they feel really soft and creamy especially this like metallic -y shade here i mean look at that that is just foily goodness and then those are the other shades in the palette so it's a really nice neutral sort of palette I do just want to quickly mention that they did launch um, eye primers, but I did not pick one up. So I'm just going to take a blender brush and I'm going to take the nude shade here. And guys, I'm just going to put that in my crease. It is very pigmented, if you can see that. Okay, so I've put that shade all over my crease. I'm now going to take the darker matte in the palette and I'm just going to add that to my like outer corner. And I'm also just going to take the darker matte on my lower lash line. Okay, so I've put those shadows on. They are really soft and easy to blend. So I'm loving those so far. I do, however, now have two like duo chroma eye products I want to play with as well. So I picked up the Magnetics Duo Chroma Eyeliner and the also Excharged Duo Chroma Eyeshadow, like liquid shadow thing. So I'm going to quickly put this on first, just a little bit on my lid, and then I will use the eyeliner as well. This look is going to be really random. You only get 1.7 mil of product in them. And I looked on the website this morning and these retail for £10. When I purchased them, they retail for 8 So I don't know if they just made a mistake on the website. So this is in the shade Thrill. And as you can see, it's like a purple green 
sort of duochrome shade that's a swatch of it there if you can kind of see that so it has a small like doe foot applicator at an angle and let's just put some of this on my lid Okay, this is the shade on. I know it looks a bit crazy right now, but I might go get some dark eyeshadow just to blend out the outer edges. Um, and I have got a creasy lid, so it is kind of transferring. But this is what the eyeshadow looks on. I don't know if you can tell on camera if it's reflecting, but it has a purple undertone, but with like a greeny sort of reflect. And then before I go and sort this out, I'm going to quickly put the duochrome eyeliner pen eyeliner on this also retails for 10 pounds and you get 1.8 mil in it i got the shade bolt and this is what the packaging looks like it is like a liquid liner and i'm just gonna oh my god you can see that right that is absolutely stunning it is more of a brush tip applicator rather than a felt tip Okay, so I kind of just did that as a wing, um, so I've got like a purpley winged eyeliner and it looks so good. I'd say I'd kind of prefer the those uh, magnetic liners as opposed to the liquid shadows. It's dried down and it kind of doesn't give an effect of like a duochrome anymore, which is a bit annoying. I can just mainly see the purple and it looks like patches of it has dried down and patches of it have like stayed like a duo-y chrome purple. So those are all the eye products I've got. They didn't come out with mascaras or lashes or anything like that. So I'm going to jump off camera. I'm going to fix this eyeshadow and then I'll be right back. Right, I have got my lashes and mascara on. I will just say um, I'm a little bit disappointed in the liquid shadow. I just feel like I don't know if I didn't use enough or I don't know if I'm using it wrong. But it just didn't do much really. The liner, like the, the liquid liner I use for my wing is absolutely beautiful i love that but just the liquid duochrome it's just kind of like dried in patches and it doesn't i don't really see the green reflex um i did actually forget i did get a gel eyeliner as well so this is the exact eye uh, eyeliner in chestnut which is the brown which i thought would go really nice with the eyeshadow palette it has like the same packaging as the eyebrow pencil but this is a little bit smaller the eyebrow pencil is really long so this is actually the cheapest product in the range. This retails only for £5. So I got the shade Chestnut, which is a beautiful brownie shade. I'm going to put that on my lower waterline. I'll be right back because I'm not going to do things like this on camera. Okay, so I'm back. That is really soft, creamy and pigmented. I absolutely love that. They had this in so many shades as well. They had black. I think they had red, blue, like they had these in loads of shades and for £5 they are so creamy and really pigmented so I'm a big fan of that. Obviously all the real test will be if it lasts like an like all day but I'm not doing a wear test today. Okay guys and the last thing in this video is actually not XX Revolution related, it is the new like Revolution Shimmer Bombs which I think are meant to be dupes of the Fenty like lip luminizers or something. I'm just going to throw one of these ones throw one of these on to finish off the look um because as i said i didn't get lip products because they actually launched the day after if that makes sense this actually comes with three shades i'm gonna use this middle one which is called starlight and i'm just gonna put that straight over the lips and see what it looks like oh they smell really they smell watermelony So though that is the shimmer bomb on you can like if you really rub your lips together you can feel the small particles of shimmer but for the most part they are really moisturizing and uh, comfortable on the lips so i do really like that i know that's not xx revolution related but i did just want to quickly throw that in there because i didn't have another lip product so guys those are all of the xx revolution products for this video i really hope you enjoyed it i must say i am very 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 happy with pretty much all of the products i put on my face today apart from the liquid like duochrome 
liquid shadow thing that I put across my lid it just wasn't what I expected I expected it to be a little bit better than that um but everything else if I'm honest like I really really liked although I am impressed with a lot of the products on my face today I must say they are much more expensive than a normal revolution brand but they are good products I'm not gonna lie I would be completely honest with you if I did not like the products but however much they are I do really enjoy them I think they are absolutely beautiful I cannot wait to start wearing them more and I don't forget I will be doing a couple more videos with some of the stuff in this range I will pick up like the big eyeshadow palette or like one of them later on down in the line but for them for the time being I'm really impressed with everything I tried on my face today I will leave li everything linked down below as well um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a massive thumbs up let me know down below what is your favorite product from this launch and of course guys if you haven't already please subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video bye